Now, these individuals, of course, discovered to have PKU at that time were mentally retarded, uh, but what Bickel showed is that the neurologic complications beyond mental retardation in PKU could be bettered. If they were having severe seizures that were difficult to control, they were controlled when they were on diet. If they were very hyperactive, they were less hyperactive when they were on diet. Uh, they were more responsive when they were on diet. And so there was no question but that there was a, a correspondence between the biochemical bettering of these individuals and their clinical uh, improvement. Finally comes on the scene uh, Robert Guthrie, the famous Robert Guthrie of, who developed newborn screening. Now, Bob Guthrie, uh, before he developed newborn screening, uh, was a cancer researcher working at the Russell Park Institute for Cancer Research in Buffalo, New York. Uh, he was interested in metabolites in cancer. He developed bacterial assays that would identify certain uh, pyrimidine and purine metabolites in the blood and the urine of individuals with cancer. Uh, but, you know, as so often occurs in, uh, in our life and in medicine, uh, um, serendipity, chance, uh, sort of takes over. But um, it's a little like the, uh, the story of, of Winston Churchill. You know, before the Second World War, Winston Churchill was really out of favor in England. And comes the Second World War and his uh, performance and his wonderful leadership in England during the Second World War led to his becoming the very famous Winston Churchill and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and becoming so uh, prominent in England. And people said, well, Winston Churchill was really just, uh, just lucky. Well, he said, you know, I was prepared for my luck. Well, uh, Guthrie had a couple of, uh, of chances. They weren't lucky necessarily, but they uh, certainly were events in his life that led to uh, the chance events that led to newborn screening. But he was prepared. Uh, chance favors the prepared mind, so Pasteur said. The first chance that led to newborn screening for Robert Guthrie was that Johnny, his second son, was mentally retarded, not from PKU, his, the cause of mental retardation in Johnny was never identified. Uh, but because Johnny was mentally retarded, Bob Guthrie and his wife uh, became lifelong uh, interested in uh, the cause of mental retardation and specifically the prevention of mental retardation. Now, in relation to that interest in mental retardation, uh, Guthrie was the program chairman for the local uh, um, association for retarded children uh, in Buffalo, New York, and it was his responsibility to develop a monthly uh, a program, a talk before the group. Uh, and so uh, one day um, he uh, heard about uh, Dr. Robert Warner, who was director of the Developmental Evaluation Clinic at Buffalo Children's Hospital, um, and uh, the work that Dr. Warner was doing in the prevention uh, or the amelioration of mental retardation through diet. So we asked Dr. Warner to speak before the group, which Dr. Warner did, uh, and uh, what Dr. Warner told them were uh, really three things. <clears throat> he said that um, uh, he did indeed have a diet for this disease, PKU, which improved the behavior of those who were mentally retarded from PKU. But he said that uh, the, it, what you needed was to measure the blood phenylalanine level in these individuals in order to properly monitor the diet. Uh, and uh, he said finally that the problem in monitoring the diet in individuals with PKU was that there was no simple uh, phenyl blood phenylalanine assay to uh, measure phenylalanine. Uh, that the assays that were available at that time were these very complicated tube dilutional assays that uh, uh, really took a long time, were very labor intensive, and, and very, uh, made it very, very difficult to treat individuals with PKU. Uh, and Guthrie thought about that, and remember he was, uh, in his cancer research, he was involved in developing uh, bacterial assays for metabolites, and he said, well, you know, uh, some of my bacterial assays probably could be modified to respond to phenylalanine, and they're really very simple assays. And so, indeed, he, he uh, did this. He modified his uh, uh, cancer bacterial assays and made them applicable to the identification of uh, and measurement of phenylalanine in blood.